Hi. This is a brief introduction on hard-boiled detective fiction. Now, hard-boiled detective fiction is interesting to me because, first of all, it's uh, an organic to California, uh, in the sense that if you think about different literary genres, um, I'm not sure where poetry originated. I mean, it, in the West, maybe with the Greeks, for instance. Um, and if you look at different sorts of genres, uh, there are different parts of the world in which they've originated. The interesting part for me is that um, hard-boiled detective fiction originated in California in, during the Depression era in Los Angeles. Um, and being that California is a focus of my own um, studies, then I find that intriguing to me. Now, the rest of this is going to be a quick and nasty introduction in the sense that you would want to double check on some of the research regarding this. But I want very briefly to kind of have you keep this in mind. Um, what, hardboiled detective fiction was essentially uh, created uh, by Dashiell Hammett um, and Raymond Chandler in the early to mid-30s in Los Angeles. Now, these are individuals who came west to pursue a, an American dream of success, etc., um, in the film industry. Now, many people tried to do that, and what happened is often they found out that it was much more difficult to break into than they thought, that just like everywhere else in the world, there were people who were on the inside and people on the outside, there were people trying to exploit you, there were a billion people trying to get into a few jobs, and then when you pile on top of that a Depression-era economy, um, the threat of war, um, and an enormous influx of people from a whole bunch of different places across the globe, um, from the south, from the northeast, from the west itself, and then you have many generations of people who have already been here, except for that they are from a different empire, okay, the Spanish and Mexican empire, and then you have people coming from the far east over here to start um, building agriculture and to continue the mining industry in the, in the Sierras. Then you have a whole bunch of people in a very small area fighting over well, I mean, it is a burgeoning industry, but it's, the competition is still very heavy. So there were a whole lot of people who came to California to pursue a dream and did not find it. Um, they'd been sold a bill of goods. These, uh, many of these people were bitter. And, uh, you know, so if you want to imagine these early writers uh, of hard-boiled detective fiction as trying to respond to that, you might also think about them as the sort of people who kind of experienced it. So if you see bitter angry, drunk people running around, well, you can kind of imagine um, that uh, it reflected a little bit the writers themselves. This is sort of the environment in which hard-boiled detective fiction was written, and uh, part of it, uh, it will be seen in how they kind of incorporated three other genres, uh, which will be talked about in three different videos uh, upcoming. But uh, essentially, three different... Uh, other sorts of genres fed into the creation of hard-boiled detective fiction. Uh, one was the Western genre, uh, and in this case, go ahead and think back to, if, if you haven't read much Western fiction, that's okay. Think about the classic Western movies. Um, uh, the detective genre, of course, um, the idea of a person walking through um, the world creating justice uh, through logic and um, intelligence, all right? And then there's the gothic genre, uh, which is uh, an interesting genre that was originally sort of created to address the idea of the psyche, the human psyche, um, in the 1750s. And I wouldn't say resurrected here, uh, but was reincorporated. The idea that humans um, can sort of... Uh, split up and have dual personalities, both good and evil, that they can do things that they themselves don't understand, and that the world isn't necessarily a wonderful place, but a place that can also be filled with decay and death, and, well, the stark reality that maybe one's dreams wouldn't come true. Uh, essentially, um, those are the things that sort of coalesce to create the hard-boiled detective fiction genre at the time. This was certainly not written as art initially. These people were trying to sell books and resurrect a career. I think uh, in one way that kind of helps this genre and that it's kind of get in and get out 
Um, people aren't working too hard on the artistic aspects. But since then, because of its great popularity and et cetera, a whole lot of scholarship has been done. Now, once again, that sort of uh, ends my brief introduction of the, the genres that feed into uh, hard-boiled detective fiction. You can look at my introduction online for a more detailed aspect of it, and you can look toward um, some other videos regarding each particular genre that might give you a better idea um, how you can actually see them in these particular texts.